Hi, I'm Christopher Bolton, a production designer from South Africa. Welcome to this series of MST5 tutorials. Let's get started. Welcome to the basic intro to the MST5 package. When you first open the Martin Show Designer, the first thing you will notice is a whole lot of icons that you've never seen before. The easiest way of learning these icons is by going to Help, Contents, under the search, type in Icons, Click on icons and it will give you a list of all the icons relative to the program. What's really nice about this is you will also be able to see the hotkeys description which will give you very easy to use shortcut functions that will help you and make your life a lot easier. Something to be very aware of when working in the 3D space is the X, Y and Z axes. Basically a common rule of thumb is that when you are in the front view and you are looking at it. X will be left to right, Y will be top to bottom, and Z will be front to back. If you are looking at it in the front view window, the green line represents the Y axis, the red represents the X axis. If you go to one of your side views, the blue line here will indicate your Z axis. An important thing to do before you start is to set up your windows the way that you prefer. It's very easy to do in MSD, very similar to the way we work in Windows. You can simply drag the window the way you want. This is a two-dimensional window. You can add more windows by going to your Windows icon and selecting whichever window you prefer. In this case, I have added a second two-dimensional window. A three-dimensional window and a third two-dimensional window. The advantages of this is that you can keep one in your front view, one in your top view, your 3D view, and your side view. Here you can clearly see the axis indicated when you're looking at it. The nice thing about having it this way is that when you insert something, you can see everything from all angles, right? front, top, and 3D. It is really handy to know that at any stage you can maximize these windows and minimize them back. Same as you would do in any other Windows program, making it quite easy to get in closer on a particular section of the model. It is also quite important to remember to store your layouts. This is under Settings, Store Layout. That means when you close the program and then open it up again, it'll be exactly as you left it. Another feature that is handy to know, that is that in settings you can go to window color and change the color of the window to make the contrast easier on your eyes and making the model easier to work with. One of the most important features to be aware of and what makes this program incredibly powerful is the integration between all four of the packages, show designer, the modeler, the offline and the paper. What is included in this program is this little section here, these little icons. Each of these icons open up a different package. At the moment I am in the show designer package and if I want to, for example, alter the shape of this arch, I can merely click on the arch, go to the modeler and switch it. Now you can simply adjust the color or the shape of the actual object and by saving it as arches in this case, when you switch it back to show designer, it'll be exactly as you changed it in your modeler. This makes quick changes to objects within the model very easy and simple to do. As easy as it was to switch to the modeler, it's very easy to switch to the visualizer. The offline visualizer is a real-time 3D representation of what your lights are doing. It is handy to work with a combination of the show designer and the offline visualizer at the same time. This program is the 3D program. 
You can move this around, you can see the detail, and of course you can also see what the beams are doing. In the same manner that you switched to the visualizer, you can also switch to paper. Here is where you can see all the technical information regarding the lights and your sets or your structure. Working and using all four packages at the same time definitely has major benefits. One of the most important things to remember when working on a project is to save it. Very simple. You can use Ctrl S on your keyboard or you can go to File, Save As, give it the name you want and save it. A very effective way of being able to get pictures out of your program quick enough to show clients is by coming to Windows, going to Save as Bitmap. There you can quite easily place the picture anywhere you want and save it. Hopefully this intro has been helpful. In the next section I'm going to be focusing more on the show designer itself, talking about settings and preferences, fixtures and objects.